away for those of you who don't know me. I am a singer-songwriter, country pop artist, and I'm also doing YouTube. And today, this vlog is on, I'm actually headed down south on a family vacation to a town called Dunsborough, which is south of Perth, which is the city that I live in. And it's a gorgeous town, it's like a beach town, so it has beautiful beaches, like heaps of rock pools, some amazing wineries, breweries, great food. So I'm really excited to go down there. Dunsborough is also like the place where um, everyone goes after they finish high school and kind of gets rowdy and I wouldn't recommend going that week of the year, which is in November. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to just going down there. It's going to be hopefully good weather because it's the last week of summer, so it's a nice way to spend the last week of summer and just kind of relaxing, hanging out with my family. It's going to be good fun and I'll take you guys around and show you what there is to do in Dunsborough. There is so much to do. I might try some reds actually. Yeah? Might be better if I put it down. Last minute. Can I try that? Yes. Um, that one there, you're going to get that one. It's quite sharp. It's like First winery down. That was a lot of fun. There was a $6 tasting fee. Apparently most of the wineries are free. This one did have a fee, but I was happy to pay that because of how beautiful this place is. The staff were lovely. The wine was nice. So definitely add this to your list. It's gorgeous here. I'm not a huge alcoholic drinker. I don't drink much, mainly because I don't really like the taste of much alcohol unless it's really sweet, like my taste buds haven't matured. It was nice to have a few kind of like the dessert wines and she gave me things that she thought I would like and I did quite like them. So yeah, so far so fun. Hey 
popping in here. Something that I forgot to say is that there are literally so many amazing wineries as you're driving through like one after the other constantly and they're all really great. So just have fun with it. Like go for a drive and just like randomly pop in at a couple of different ones. Turkish delight, and it actually tastes like Turkish delight. It tastes like I'm eating Turkish delight chocolate. Nom, nom, nom. Breakfast. <laughs> so we're here at the animal farm, taking my little niece Harper here to see some animals. It's all she's ever seen are dogs and cats, so it's very exciting. Yeah. <gasps> What's that? Oh, what's that? This is Grandma's work. Oh, look. Yeah, gentle. Hello. Hey, guys, gone. Got food. Ah. <laughs> 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 Going for a walk around town with Mama Bear, doing some shopping, doing some damage. So it's four o'clock and um, my sister and I just thought we would duck down to the beach. There's three beaches that are really close to one another and that are really nice. There's more than three, but the three that I like is Up, Eagle Bay and Castle Rock. So we've just stuck down to Eagle Bay. I did all the red stuff. It's the plain chicken wings and the celery. What's with the peas? I like the peas. I like the like one too. Really Who's eyes am I trying to see through? Mary's getting more too. I have short distance. Friendly fruit. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Good Bold. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Walking along Geograph Bay Road. So we're gonna go into town and we're just gonna get, I think Luke here is gonna get a coffee and I'm gonna, I don't drink coffee, so get some sort of other juice or a smoothie. And then I think today we're going out on my dad's boat and then I wanna try and get to Meal Up Beach as well. So I might show you some of what's around town as well because there's heaps of cute little clothing boutiques, surf shops, cute little like trinket shops. Mum just came back with a sausage roll for me from the Dunsborough Bakery. So good. If you don't know what a sausage roll is, they're I'm pretty sure an Australian food. They are pretty much like meat mince with pastry and they are bloody delicious. They should sell them all around the world, but definitely add this to the list. Go to the bakery and get yourself a sausage roll. It's 
so we're out fishing but we have some company these little birds want our bait and every time we cast they dive down for it we are 12 kilometers north north west of the Pundalup boat ramp in Dunsborough oh yeah We just finished fishing on the boat. Unfortunately, did not catch anything, but that's all a part of the game. My dad caught a baby stingray and a snapper, but the snapper was undersized. He let it go, and of course he let the stingray go. But after fishing, I always feel like really gross. So just driving down now to Milat Beach, which is my favorite beach. I'm gonna just get in the water there and get clean. But there's also this really cool little secret rock pool right next to the beach. So I thought I would show you guys that as well. While we were out fishing, my brother and his partner went out snorkeling and they said it was amazing at a place called Sugar Sugarloaf Rock. I think it's called Sugarloaf Rock and they said it was like an aquarium. So definitely if you're interested in doing snorkeling, go and check that area out. But Milot Beach is a really kind of like chilled out, like really shallow water, crystal blue, no waves. That's why I like it so much. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in there now. Rocks, rock pools. There's one down there and one in there. Shark free. Morning guys, so it's our final day in Dunsborough. It has been an amazing week. And just before we head out of town today, we're gonna go have breakfast. And then there's one more thing that I feel like is really important that you have to check out in Dunsborough. So we're gonna take you out there and just show you that because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like this natural rock pool that you can go swimming. Um, so I couldn't leave here without definitely showing you that. Beach. Okay, so we're about to walk down to Injured Up, oh, but this is the bay, like the beach, and that beach looks so picture perfect, gorgeous. Like, I would also just utilize that beach because of how stunning that water is. So it turns out we actually went to the wrong location. This area is actually a little bit hard to find. It's not directly next to the beach. It's about a five minute drive from it. So we're headed there now. And if you type in like Indijup Spa, it doesn't come up on Google Maps. It actually, I think it's listed under the word nature spa. We're in the car, three minutes away from it now. But definitely go check out the beach anyway, because the beach is gorgeous. like flooded with people down there I'm not sure why it isn't because the weather's really nice maybe because it's a Wednesday morning midweek everyone's at work a couple of tourists down there but usually everyone's packed down there having a swim all right guys I'm gonna sign off here thank you so much for watching my vlog uh, if you enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel yeah we're gonna hit the road now we've got a three-hour drive back to Perth but thank you for tuning in definitely add Dunsborough to your list if you're coming down to Southwest WA because it is beautiful there is so much to do we had five days here and it didn't feel like enough at all you really could just stay here it's going to all the amazing beaches and wineries so anyway hopefully I'll see you guys again soon in my next vlog bye